Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. Thanks for joining me today. And you'll notice we have two ingredients for this recipe. We're gonna make salt potatoes. I've grown up on salt potatoes and have been having them most of my entire life. And I recently seen a lot of things on the internet saying this is a New York thing. I guess it is just a New York thing. I know it started out in, in Syracuse, New York, which is about less than an hour from me. But I never knew that, you know, other people weren't having this at their picnics or barbecues. But yeah, so basically it's just a bag of salt potatoes and it comes with a bag of salt and we need a stick of butter. So let me show you the potatoes and let's get started. So when you open up the bag of potatoes, they're all little baby potatoes and they give you a bag of salt. So this is the bag of salt. And when I was growing up and when I was raising a family too, I never used all this salt because I thought, oh my God, that's crazy. But I thought, wow, that's too much salt and I'll just put this in my, my salt shaker and use it. But really you do need to use all the salt to make this recipe taste good. And the potatoes don't come out too salty. They just come out perfect. And let me show you these potatoes. See, they're kind of small, real nice. Let's get them all washed. So you just want to wash the potatoes really good and make sure you pull out any bad ones. And I swear, it seems like there's always one bad one. This is like one you don't want to use. It's kind of soft. And these all are rinse really good. And just make sure they're, you know, firm and make sure they're all, you know, looking good. And see, they do come in all different sizes, which is the fun part. You know, you get a little bitty baby one and a bigger size one. And these are so delicious. So just rinse them all off. I use vinegar and water and clean mine thoroughly, but you can just rinse them with cool water and then let's get them put into a pot. Okay, so just cover the potatoes completely. And um, I don't know if I said in the beginning, this is five pounds of potatoes. And you don't have to worry about if they have any little marks and spots on them, that's fine. And so what I did was I measured out this salt, just so you guys can know. And it's that's a cup and it's a little over, so maybe a cup and a quarter of salt. But don't be, fra don't be afraid and don't be scared, put it all in there. This is what makes them taste so good and they won't be too salty, they'll just be perfect. Put them on the stove to boil and once we get that come to a boil, I'll be back. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, so we're almost there. This is a big pot, a lot of uh, water and a lot of potatoes and you'll notice all that salt. Don't get nervous, that's just um, normal and it cleans up perfectly fine. I wanted to show you guys something. Just take it and put a fork in it if it doesn't go in they're not done of course you know but I just want you to hear this little sound it sounds like it's um snapping when you touch it you can't really hear it on camera but that's what that salt is doing it's kind of putting like a I don't know a special type of coating type on the potatoes and it just makes them so good Okay guys, these have been cooking about 45 minutes. And what I usually do is I check a few of them and see if they're tender. And there's um, different sizes, so you wanna check you know, a couple of them. Just go ahead, drain off all the water, and make sure they're completely uh, dry. And then just put them back in your pan and just put the whole stick of butter right in there, cover them and let them set and they'll be all ready when your dinner's ready. Okay, what I like to do with the top on, the cover on, even like a really good shake and just make sure all the butter's getting all, all around. All right, there they are, guys. I want you to just look at all this delicious butter that's down here and then serve them up. What I'm going to do is grab one from the bottom where all that butter is. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's see. Let me open this up for you. So, you know, growing up in New York, I never knew this, you know, wasn't happening everywhere else. And if you're not from around here, maybe you're interested in. But we, we would, you know, you go to a, um, I mean, my mother just cooked these and we had them with, you know, summer dinners. 
and but if you go around to you know barbecues barbecue sales you know they have a stand out you know at a corner and they're selling chicken barbecue they'll give you a plate full of a half a chicken some pasta salad maybe um three or four um salt potatoes or however many you know just just depending on how big they are and, and a dinner roll and you went and bought that for a certain amount of money and they're just you know a perfect meal delicious and uh so you know this is what it's like here in new york and um it, and making this just for dinner is just such e so easy and convenient like we would you know put the pan of water you know the pan of potatoes on the stove and then get everything else going and then you can just leave them sit there with the top on them they'll stay warm for you know quite a quite a while and we always or yeah and i was gonna say when you go to the sales like church um cookouts or just you know anybody trying to raise money they might have um pork and beans or some type of beans but we always served ours with the grandma brown you know baked beans which oh my god are my favorite and i love and i have a youtube video on my channel i'll leave the link above so you guys can go check that out and uh yeah so i just want you guys to give these a try and just see how simple and easy it is it might you know some people might think oh my gosh she's doing a video on some simple potatoes but some people might not know about this so look at how creamy they look inside perfect and then some people might want to put a little extra butter on them and grab a spoon grab a spoon get some of that delicious butter look at that oh mg uh-huh uh-huh oh 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 my gosh you guys and then i do like to put a sprinkle of salt and a little pepper and then enjoy that's all there's left to say see how creamy that is let's go in make it a bite and you can eat the skin mmm you don't even have to cut them open. You don't even have to put extra butter. It has plenty. I eat the whole skin and all. It's delicious. Yum. Mm, mm, mm. So I hope you guys give this a try. Of course, check out my baked bean recipe that I was just telling you about. I heard they're saying there's a shortage or like no one can find the grandma brown baked beans i don't know i got a can in my pantry thank god but all i know is they can't stop making those i love them i love them i love them so guys if you like this video give me a like show me some love i love you guys i i haven't been telling you guys how much i thank you but i want you to know that i thank you so much for building up my youtube channel and um, without you guys, I'd be nothing, you know, like they say. Oh, without you, I'd be nothing. But, you know, I got that from Selena. I like to thank all the little people. But anyway, <laughs> I like to have fun in the kitchen. I think cooking so much fun. I love cooking. It helps me bring back my childhood of growing up with my parents and cooking in the kitchen with my mother. And ho hopefully you guys are all teaching your kids how to cook. This generation, I don't know, it's all takeout food, but we got to teach them, you know, some of the traditions. We need to teach them how to take care of themselves, girls or boys. I have four sons. So anyway, you guys, I got to go have some of these. The best way I like to serve these is like how I was telling you, like how they do the chicken barbecues, which is perfect. But I love it with a, a nice, fresh, tossed salad with oil and vinegar for the dressing or just an Italian. And then I like to dip my potatoes in that dressing a little bit. And when that little bit of vinegar gets on the potatoes, oh my gosh, it tastes so good. And it complements, it's together so well that that's, that's the only way I want to eat mine anymore. But yeah, so I guys hope you enjoy this. Give them a try. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Be blessed, guys.